We do have an update for you here this morning on the negotiations between Rady Children's Hospital and its nurses. The hospital says nurses rejected a tentative contract agreement for the third time. CBS 8's Regina Yorita is live outside Rady Children's Hospital with what happens next. Regina, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Eric and Netta. You can imagine the disappointment on both groups now that this deal has been rejected for the third time. Now about 1600 nurses here at Rady Children's Hospital rejected the recent deal, uh, but negotiations have been taking place for the past couple of months. In June is when their contract expired, and in late July they conducted a two-day strike. Now the nurses did notice some improvements, uh, but they say it did not sufficiently address the critical issues of wages and high medical premium costs that they have to deal with. They add that they're committed to securing a fair contract that keeps nurses in their jobs and they plan to regroup with members and the executive board in the coming days to figure out the next steps in securing a strong agreement. Now, meanwhile, executives of Rady Children's Hospital have responded. Uh, they say they're disappointed to learn that for the third time, nurses have voted against a tentative deal. So in a written statement, they say the agreement was the best path forward for nurses and the hospital. It would have provided substantial family supporting pay and benefits for valued nurses. The hospital will continue to bargain in good faith. So back out here, there is no announcement whether there's going to be a possible uh, strike in the next coming days. I'm assuming that is what they'll be discussing now that they've rejected that recent deal. That's latest outside of Brady Children's Hospital. Regina Yurita, CBS 8.